Montdale Baptist Church Devotional, Monday, July 20th, 2020, from Call to Glory. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that do curse you, do good to them that hate you, pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Matthew 5, 44. Forgiveness is without a doubt difficult for the believer because it requires humility. The stumbling block in forgiveness is pride, the polar opposite of being humble. Lives have been altered, destroyed, and forever changed because of pride and the inability to forgive. However, God's people must take a difficult path regarding forgiveness. Taking a godly path in forgiveness doesn't make it easier, but it does help pillow your head at night know you are obedient to the Lord. The fourth rule in forgiveness is to pray. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. Praying for someone that uses you and abuses you is a huge step in a godly path. The prayers offered might more than often sound harsh or condemning of those who hurt you. But the prayers refer to here in this passage, are positive in nature. Prayer is the capstone to a proper attitude in forgiveness. It is impossible to harbor resentment and unforgiveness toward another while you are constantly praying for them. Prayer could start with God giving you the ability to continue to forgive while you may still be feeling the pain. But ultimately, the prayers should be towards the offender, that the Lord will do a work in their life and heart that only He can perform. Prayer for God's blessing upon their life in spite of their attitude or actions. In the hypocritical life for a believer, that he would ask for forgiveness and then not be willing to forgive themselves. It goes against the life and work of Christ to be unwilling to forgive offenders. As long as the flesh is part of our existence, there will be offenses, which means forgiveness will be necessary as a part of our life. You can either live in peace with your fellow man, or continue to have a terrible life living at odds with them. The choice is yours. Our Heavenly Father, this new week... Help us to be humble in our attitude, which will lead us to a forgiving nature. Let us forgive those others who do things against us, as we remember how much you have forgiven us. Father, be with us this week, and guide us, direct us. In Jesus' name, amen.